Hi, I'm Jason and welcome back to my workshop. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's minus 7 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of minus 16 degrees. That, folks, is winter in Minnesota. But it's a great day to be in the shop because I've got heat, thank goodness, and we're nice and warm inside. So uh, the last project I was working on, which is still in process, is a shaker style table inspired by Norm Abram of the New Yankee Workshop. And if you watch that video, you know that I had some eight quarter stock I had to resaw. So I turned to my bandsaw for that and it blew up on me. Here's what happened. So I got this bandsaw used maybe four or five years ago. And it's been performing great, but honestly, I usually just keep a quarter inch blade in it for just about everything. And I figured I should probably put the three quarter inch blade on this since I'm resawing some pretty thick cherry, which is hard stuff. So I have this tension adjuster knob for the blade and I was trying to adjust it for a three quarter inch blade. You know that the generally the wider the blade, the higher the tension. And as I was doing that, I heard a big pop. So I tried making some adjustments and did it again and there, there was like pop, pop. So I figured, well, that's not good. Let's pull things apart and see what's going on. So here's what happened. This bolt is important for tensioning the bandsaw. And as you can see, there's about a half an inch of thread that just got completely stripped. And so I need to replace that. I also need to replace this nut because it's just frozen on there. This bolt's really important because it sits in here. And as you push this tension knob up, it drives the bolt upward. And what that does is it takes the upper wheel and pushes that wheel up, tensioning the blade. So because this part is stripped, I had to order a new part. So I went ahead and ordered a nut too, since I can't even get this one off of the bolt. So I'm waiting on parts before I can do any resawing or anything else on this bandsaw. But I do have another method for resawing and I'm going to show you that. All right, so if you watch my last video, you know that I started to build a shaker inspired table made out of solid cherry. And you know that I had to make an emergency run to my local woodworking store to find some five quarter stock. They didn't have any, all they had was inch and three quarters thick. Now in a perfect world, they would have had eight quarter roughs on for about half the price. All they had was S3S surfaced on three sides. So it's about an inch and three quarters at $10 a board foot, ouch. And what makes things even worse is I've got to resaw this now, this beautiful board that's nice and thick, which will be an inch thick, which is what I need. You do what you have to do in these situations. Now I can't resaw on the bandsaw like I explained, so I'm gonna do it at the table saw. Now you can do this safely at the table saw, but you've gotta check a couple things first. One, make sure that the stock you're working with is completely flat, straight, and square. If not, you could have a dangerous kickback situation. If you don't have stock that's straight and square, spend some time at your joiner and planer or bust out the hand tools. However you do it, just make sure it's straight and square or you could have a dangerous kickback. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an inch at a time. I've raised my blade to an inch and I'm going to resaw on each edge of this board. And then I'll flip this end for end and then I'll do an inch and then I'll raise it another inch and I'll keep going that way. The reason I'm doing this is to keep the blade as cool as I can I don't want it to warp or anything like that. Also, just less chance of a kickback. This is cherry. The grain sometimes runs in all directions. And so I just want to make sure that I'm being safe and going easy on my rip blade. So the first thing I need to do is just set the fence for one inch and we can get started. Now this is a pretty dusty operation. So make sure you've got the dust collection on and you're wearing a mask. All right, so my blade only extends up about three inches. It's a 10 inch table saw blade. So I could only do three inches on each edge of the board. So I'm left with about two inches of wood here that I need to cut. And I can't do it on the table saw, so I've got to find another way to do that. So normally you could do this with a handsaw. A Western style push handsaw would probably be the best way to go. I don't have one. I had a bunch at one time and they all got dull and 
they weren't the kind that were worth keeping and trying to get resharpened, and I just haven't replaced them yet. I've got a Japanese style handsaw, but it's a little floppy, and I don't think I'd get a very accurate cut, and it'd be a lot of work. So we could do this the hard way or the easy way. I've decided to do this the easy way. We're gonna do this with a reciprocating saw. Now, what I've done is I've clamped the rear of the board with a hand screw clamp and a quick clamp just onto that sawhorse in the back. So this isn't gonna wiggle around on me. And I'm just, I've got a nice long wood cutting blade on the reciprocating saw. And I'll just put it right in the kerf. And I'll take my time with it. I'll make sure the blade's not wandering left to right too much. And we should get through this in no time at all. Okay, you ready for the big reveal? Yeah, pretty ugly. But, I got the job done. I'll definitely have enough meat here to get my three quarters of an inch final. And the skinny piece that I'm left with won't be useful for a whole lot. If I ever wanna slice up some veneer, maybe I might get something out of that, but it's probably destined for the uh, firewood pile. So I don't recommend doing this with the Sawzall. That's a construction tool. I kind of expected this, but I was too lazy to go out and buy a new saw. So if you're gonna do this, I would recommend a Western style rip saw. Nice and sharp, long enough to do the job. But even better, wait till your bandsaw gets fixed. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to ring the bell and you'll get notifications whenever I have a new video posted on my channel. We'll see you soon.